Yes, we're getting into my comfort zone. I mean, my dad was a nuggeteer. I mean, that's what I call it. <laughs> he had a handy van. It was heaps fun. But I was a country boy living out in whoop whoop nowheres, mate. And I lived out of Aussie sedans, which is what this is. This is like a 95 or something. Look, guys, I was a big Holden boy, big time. Had all the gear. I'd go and I saw Mark Scaife, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I got old enough to own cars. And, and then I owned a few Holdens. You know, hey, I'm a Ford guy now. <laughs> Back when I was a teenager, my Commodore cacked it and someone local offered me one of these for 500 bucks. It was rough and it was one of the best driving cars I ever had. I mean it. But this car is super, super special. Oh, stock wheels. Good. She's the GLI. That's called the lowest trim level. <laughs> It's a taxi. <laughs> Ooh, but look at this. It's got the spoiler put on at the factory. That swish. Let's look inside. I, yes, it was cheap. I got this cheap. It's really disappointing because the rest of it's actually mint. You know, it's only got a, you know, a bit of a urine smell. Oh gosh, I'm so nostalgic that this era of dashboard and the Falcon. <laughs> I'm a teenager again, guys. Um, hints. Hints at, at future dramas. This old mate has had many, many, many owners, like even recently. Like, I, I apparently I've bought this off of another smaller YouTuber. He wouldn't tell me his channel though. But at some point, someone's decided to put a start button on it. You have to use the start button. Oh, wind up windows. That's GLI for you. And in 95, for a full size sedan, that is. That's very basic. Okay, so I bought a taxi. Like, what's, what's so good about it, right? A apart from it having its indicator lenses, like this model of Falcon, none of them have these. Shh, 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 come here, look at this. It's a five liter V8 taxi. <laughs> uh, apparently, like the, the last owner ran the VIN number and said that a EF Falcon GLI in green Alloys with a spoiler and a five liter. They only made nine of them. <laughs> it's technically rare and a common old taxi. <laughs> X. Oh, I love this. It's such a nugget. It's filthy and it only has light hail damage. It looks good enough for me. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. It looks like really clean. But what you're not receiving is a big old burnt coolant smell, which was from my exhibition last night. I mean, here's, here's a quick clip. Oh, oh no, stay there, don't you get any more. Can you believe you were cheap? Humidity is strong. I see moisture. Oh good, it's sizzling all the way in the back. Good, this won't be a nightmare at all. I wasn't told of this leak when I bought it. So, mmm, <laughs> fun. Oh, and uh, this is gone, like, it's gone. Mate, look how high she rides. <laughs> oh, it's such a taxi. But this was so comfortable on the way here. Bruce too feels like a concrete skateboard compared to this. It's got way too much oil in it. I, do, I basically limped it here. So I, you know, we'll rev it up big time after we've where we fix the ailments. All I'll say is um, I'm pretty sure it's missing mufflers. <laughs> it's quite droney, but when I did open it up, a very, very shouty. And uh, it's already got a name, mate, because like, to me, this has a potential of being an amazing sleeper. It's just such a normal Aussie car, right? But then, like with the five liter in it, it's Jeff. Because of the wiggles, mate. You know, wake up, Jeff. Sleep, get it? Sleeper, Jeff. It's Jeff, do it. It's Jeff the sleeper. James isn't here yet. He doesn't know that I've brought this here. I'm dumping this issue on him. I can't wait to see what he thinks. James, what's your V8 experience? Uh, I just drove that one onto the hoist. Is that it, actual? Oh, uh, no, nah, not really. Because I, li like, all through P-plate days, I lived out of a V8. It was my daily car, it was a five litre Commodore. I've test driven two V8s yep. and driven a friend's Volvo that had a V8 jammed in it for one small journey. That's it. I'm really excited because this is, this is one that I found all on my own. Like. Gosh, I love V8s. And um, now we're gonna find out if I bought an absolute bucket of rubbish. James giggled straight away. <laughs> it has no mufflers. <laughs> it's 
got two cats. Oh, well, I mean, envir- that's environmentally, that's good. <laughs> yeah, there's no... <laughs> <laughs> There's no mufflers at all. They actually bother to put a bolt in it. Like, it's, in terms of dodgy, it's the cleanest bogan exhaust I've seen. Like from the back, it's like it's fine. This is so illegal. Oh, I wonder how many bananas we can fit in that one. Looks like it had been sitting for a really, really long time. LSD. It is. Oh, what is it? It's a sports taxi. Ooh. Yeah, it's Ooh. got a little bit of a trans leak. Ooh. Doesn't look like a fun one to fix either. Hey, look, we can test the color of the fluid. Oh, that looks black. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not the right color. Yeah. That's not nice. Oh, she's running Nolothane. Oh, she's got <laughs> running Nolothane bushes. <laughs> Gotta feel good going up to Salisbury. Bit of, bit of play somewhere in there. Wheel bearing. That one doesn't feel like a wheel bearing. Oh, yeah, it's wheel bearing. That boot looks good. Oh, no. Oh no, oh, there's more. There's, <laughs> there's no boot on this one at all. Oh no, okay. Oh god, We're not... this isn't a quick fix at all. Oh, everything's so crunchy looking. Good, the handbrake boot's gone. Yeah, you can see the oil just starts where the dipstick goes in. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's really easy to get to at least. Oh. That's <laughs> like cool. Sure. Oh no, is that main bearing? No, like rear bit? Rear main, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> the way this is dried off makes it kind of look like petrol. Oh, no. <laughs> Can you believe this was cheap? Lots of oil and fluid leaks, potentially a petrol leak. Heater hoses right there. Apparently, I mean, we think they're the culprit of just the massive coolant sadness river badness. It's, it's what's crippling this car. <laughs> Steering and power steering's leaking. Uh, it just sounded funny. Oh, it's black. Oh. That is so black. Oh, I didn't know it could turn that color. Neither did I. Has someone put oil in there? I hope not. Oh, because yeah, it did feel lumpy and, mm. Oh, the heater tap's dead. Well, I, yeah, look at all the crustiness around it. Oh. <laughs> Full down here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she's, <laughs> she's got a bit of extra in her. Cool, we'll get to see if anything's been living in there. Sometimes there's like a big spider in there. It's heaps fun. Oh, a flexible intake hose is nice. I don't get that on my Euro cars. Ooh. 10 k in. That still looks pretty good. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. I'm not, oh. not, not going to replace that. Yeah, there are hints of love and care amongst this and abuse. All right, mate, we've got the boot up. She's dirty like an old set of footy boots. Uh, it's missing the inner trim. And James has found out, look, this is home wire, right? Someone installed this spoiler and um, there's no struts. Basically, they're gone, and so this is now a guillotine. I, I just got here, and this is how James is mounting Jeff. <laughs> I've just gotten in sight, James. What, I thought you said it was just the heater tap. Uh, it was the heater tap yeah. and a coolant pipe. I, I gotta talk over the pendulum that's playing in the background. And so. the radiator. And, all right, so it's all effed. It's all left. Oh. So it was suspected that the heater tap was bad, but which is fun because it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. But like right in the back of the guts of this, you found the hose in particular, right? Yep. Yeah, I only get anxious because it's like, this car's full of hoses like this. And if this one's bad, they're mm. all bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not great, is it? <laughs> Yay, V8s. Actually, yeah, James, get on the record. How are you enjoying your first V8 working experience? Oh, heaps uncomfortably. <laughs> yeah, so don't you love not having any room up the back along the firewall? That's great. Turns out the radiator had a hole in it as well. Yet this car was cheap. New radiator. Look at this. I've never seen a rubber one of these before. They're usually plastic. Oh, it's, it's literally got a condom on it. <laughs> Can you tell which one's the old one or the new one? I can't. Turns out the old radiator died because the fan wore it out. The fan was rubbing against the metal for so long that it balked it. Like, you see where she's... This, this rib here? Yeah. That's where it's leaking. That's where that rib sits. Yep. Like, the plastic wore out the metal. That doesn't make sense. Wait, how's that possible? <laughs> it's harder, though. <laughs> no answers. Look at this out of James. Like, this is, what, demineralized water, right? So what it is? Yeah, distilled water. Distilled water, yeah. And like proper coolant, got like behind the scenes, we care for our nuggets. Yeah, the magic smoke. <laughs> the job well done smoke. <laughs> so you know how proud I was of the LSD? Well, we, we just learned that, um, that it's not good. So mate, she's got the right amount of oil in it. And so it's actually like safe to give her a good old Bit of a rev, mate, so we can finally have a listen. Go on, James, fire up. <laughs> can, can, 
you believe those are straight pipes? It turns out most of the pollies also garbage. Uh, especially that one's roaring. Yeah, uh, that one's no good. That one's that's high. Um, it, it keeps go. I thought this was pretty okay. okay. It was a, cheap. It was cheap. So I found a whole bunch now that I got the belt off. Got that one. That's that, nice. That was the one that was noisy when it had it, the belt on. It looks good too. Is that one gone too? That one's gone too. Oh. Ooh. That's a skateboard. And this one is the power steering. Oh no, we're not driving this this weekend, are we? Probably not. Oh, that and now seems okay at least. The air, but it doesn't turn on. But the aircon does not turn on. <laughs> no, turn on. the only okay bearing is on a system that doesn't function. <laughs> oh, uh, the alternator's fine. It was cheap. Well, the original plan was this to be a one day, just lube her up and take her for a cruise on the weekend. It's it's not. Um, I I thought this wasn't that bad. It turns out it's pretty bad. Entirely sure how we're going to get that out of there. Oh yeah, it goes over the axle. <laughs> oh. I really wanted to save this bit of pipe because, I mean, it sounds very funny. I'm sure there's uses for it. But it's very clearly that this was welded under the car because look at the leaking above it. Like, forget no mufflers. It doesn't even make it all the way to the end. So I, we're going to have to cut this in half. Watch out for Bruce too. Watch out for the cardboard box. Jeez. <laughs> I edited that to look pretty chaotic, but check out James's cut. Like, that's tidy. I think this <laughs> these could be the factory discs. <laughs> Yeah, we're not even using all of it. There are actually brakes inside of the brakes. That's how the handbrake works. It's all being replaced. Hey. So, welcome to Modern Parts. We have to grind down your own effing brake pads. It has genuinely been like six weeks. Heaps of stuff has happened. It's all really boring stuff, like, we're gonna get it up and show you. I'm drinking this. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> My juice! So basically, all the work that's been done is just ground floor stuff, like new brakes and calipers, new suspension bits and the rubbers up top, mate. Brand new bushings. Like, guys, this is what makes your car knock squeak and clunk as it goes down the road. Look at James's pro fitment of this swish, swish exhaust. Where is it? It's a Redback, mate. Made in Australia. Um, so it's a lot quieter than the old exhaust, naturally. But I think she still sounds pretty dang good. Because look, mate, she's got a hot dog in it. stuff like filters, fuel filters, like best time to do it is now. Ooh, were these done? Yep. Nice, look, like literally every little bush, James has been all up in it, mate. But look, mate, like brand new bowl joints. That's when you know you're getting keen on your car, mate, when you're tickling the bowl joints. Suspension, brakes, everything. Don't you look at me, Tony. James spent forever on this sump plug. It needed re-threading and stretching. And it's like the, the thread that was in it didn't fit anything. It basically turned into its own thing. I think that was an entire day, right? Yeah, it was. It was, <laughs> it was an entire day. It was stupid. I hated it. Oh, <laughs> well, the struts work. It used to be a guillotine. All new pulleys. All of these. If anyone's engine's going like bing, 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 making that weird rubby whatever noise, it's one of these gone cack on you, mate and heaps annoying, the one that we bought had a bad bearing in it right out the gates. So we just power steering pump, piece of crap. We got a rebuilt one. It was like 600 bucks, right? More. More than 600 bucks? Yeah, it was like $1,100. No! Is that, is that much it cost? Yeah. I, I'm furious now. No, I, th I already thought it was overpriced. Um, and it's actually worse than the one that we took out. It is so effed up that James even went, are we putting this one in? And we trusted that it was rebuilt, and that's just how Falcons were. Nope, we got scooped. Well, mate, there's only one thing left to do. 
It's to go for a cruise, mate, and it's exciting because this is the first time James has ever really had anything to do with a V8. So it, it's, it's shut it and, oh no, we, we need, oh. Listen to this power steering pump. Eleven hundred bucks. What a rip off. Speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, James has done quite a bit of driving in this. Uh, I've done a lot of driving in this, and we both agree it's not fast. It's fine. Oh, no, it's like it's just fine. It it goes like a modern V6, and in fact, it's a little bit slower than Bruce too. Just a little bit. And the amount of fuel it uses to do it is insane. It, it this like noticeably drinks. I think it's like twice the fuel of Bruce 2 to go this much slower. Yeah, not fast. <laughs> so yeah, that's Jeff everyone. Uh, Jeff's too slow, but Jeff's sleeper qualities are, are written right here. And um, it's just an excuse to um, make Jeff not slow.